Okay, today we're going to look at the uh, Briggs & Stratton Intec V-Twin or Endurance V-Twin with the automatic choke. Uh, for some reason people are getting very confused by this, how it works and what does what under there. So it's pretty simple, uh, I'm going to pull everything off and get the shroud off there. <coughs> this is it, no computers, no electrical stuff, just an air vein. And this has a linkage connected directly to the choke butterfly shaft. And what happens is some people, um, you know, some of these guys playing Shade Tree Mechanic, believe that this end of the carburetor is actually the throttle end. So they think that this is uh, an air vane governor, like one of the older push mower engines. And that is not true. But as you can see how that works, um, the air vane right now, is sitting there at rest which means because of the spring pulling on that <coughs> the choke shaft is actually got the choke butterfly shut so then when you're cranking the engine over and the engine gets up to speed it pushes this open which as you can see down there when it opens up takes the choke off just like the old push mower engines with the air vane governor um, you know when the air from the flywheel is blowing on it it would push this out, which would pull on your throttle shaft and wind your engine up to our top RPMs. It's doing the same thing, but just controlling the choke on these engines and not the actual throttle and the RPM settings. <clears throat> so that's all there is to it. Pretty simple. 